Crew Chiefs, please make sure you have the current Crew Chief handout and pit road penalty card with you for the race. Please have your spotters take notice where the fire trucks and emergency equipment are positioned to enter onto the racetrack. Also, take notice where the two chase vehicles are located. Drivers, please index your wheel and check your restraint system. Signaling the NASCAR inspector, you are ready to participate in the race. Please note the pit road speed and caution vehicle speed. On the initial pace laps, check your speed when the caution vehicle turns on its overhead lights. Drivers and spotters, there are only two places to safely escape the racetrack. When you have a problem, get off the track as soon as you can. Once the caution lights are illuminated, slow down to a cautious pace. Please be aware and respectful of the emergency services vehicles and personnel that are responding to the accident. Slow down and give this equipment as much room as possible while they are on the track. Drivers, if you are involved in an incident, stay in your vehicle until a medical team arrives. Medical teams will be accompanied by NASCAR officials, who will relay directives from race control that all drivers must follow. Drivers, if you have been in an incident and your visibility is impeded or your spotter communicates that you are leaking fluid, stop immediately off of the racing surface. The caution vehicle is parked in turn one. The caution vehicle will stay low in turns one and two when entering the racetrack. Signal to the drivers behind you that you are pitting as you are exiting turn two. Check your brakes on the back straight and drop down low before entering pit road. Do not pull up to pit. Hold your respective track position under the yellow flag. Pit road will be opened by command of race control. The pit entry flag person and pit entry light are positioned to driver's left in turn three at the white commitment line. Green light, pit road is open. Flashing red and white lights, pit road is closed. The white commitment line is identified by an orange painted box. You are committed to pit road if you put four tires below the orange box. When entering pit road under green flag conditions, the pit entry speed limit is 90 miles per hour through turns three and four, starting at the white commitment line. Pit entry speed ends at the yellow speed line before the first pit box. Remember, white line to yellow line. Drivers must keep all four tires below the solid white line on the apron of turns three and four when entering pit road. Do not shortcut the radius in turns three and four as this will affect your pit road speed. The pit road speed limit is 45 miles per hour and begins at the yellow speed line before the first pit box. Pit road speed ends after the last pit box at the yellow speed line. Remember, yellow line to yellow line. When entering pit road under yellow flag conditions, the pit entry speed is 45 miles per hour through turns three and four, starting at the white commitment line. Remember, white line to yellow line. When entering pit road, all vehicles must be single file. Under yellow flag conditions in the outermost lane, bumper to bumper and maintain pit road speed, passing only to the right on entry once a vehicle commits to its pit stall. Returning to the track while exiting the pits, keep all four tires below the painted line through the exit of turn two. Check your mirrors and come up to the racetrack on the back straight. Vehicles must fall in line behind the continuous line of vehicles that remain on the racetrack. Do not impede vehicles that remained on the racetrack. We will give the one to go signal by the exit of turn two. Maintain your speed, no brake checks or weaving. Stay closed up to the vehicle in front of you. Prior to restarts, when the single file restart order is confirmed and when instructed by race control, drivers must choose the inside or outside lane before the designated V-shaped painted mark on the racing surface. Once the single file order is established, drivers must not change position until after they have chosen a lane for the restart. If in NASCAR's judgment, a driver changes position prior to choosing a lane, tires touch the painted box, changes lanes after choosing or impedes the choose process, it will result in a penalty. The Geico restart zone is clearly defined with double marks on the outside wall and on the racing surface. The control vehicle cannot restart the race before reaching the double marks. 
The starter will display the green if the control vehicle has not restarted the race by the single mark on the wall and racing surface. It will be the control vehicle's discretion to restart in the zone between the double marks and the single mark as described. White lines referencing the location of the marks are painted on the racing surface. For the initial start and for all restarts, stay in your lane until you cross the start finish line. The front row establishes the lanes and the inside lane must be established above the inside painted line. On the initial start, double file, pole sitter's choice is in effect. The choose rule with free pass and wave around procedures are in effect on all restarts that occur during the race. The race consists of three stages. The first and second stages will end with a green checkered flag, followed by a caution period and restart. The top 10 finishing positions and any vehicles not on the lead lap positioned on track between the leader and 10th place are determined frozen at the start finish line when the green checkered flag is displayed. These vehicles must maintain their positions after crossing the start finish line. No passing. The end of the third and final stage will conclude the race. The race may be concluded with NASCAR overtime in the final stage. The race will go into overtime if a caution period continues into the lap preceding the white flag, or if the caution lights are illuminated and or the yellow flag is displayed prior to the race leader crossing the start finish line to receive the white flag. Overtime will consist of one or more restart attempts, consisting of a green-white checkered flag finish. If the caution lights are illuminated and or the yellow flag is displayed before the race leader reaches the start finish line, receiving the white flag, the overtime attempt will not be official and unlimited attempts will be made. All additional laps will be counted and scored. However, if the leader reaches the start finish line after receiving the white flag and then a caution occurs, the field will be frozen and the overtime attempt will be official. The race will not be restarted and will conclude under caution. Drivers, this is your warning. Race above the double white line. If in NASCAR's judgment you go below the double white line to improve your position, you will be black flagged. If in NASCAR's judgment you force someone below the double white line in an effort to stop them from passing you, you may be black flagged. Thank you and good luck in the race. All right, there's the checkered flag. Great job, driver.